Although 2020 brought the greatest decrease in the global carbon footprint, already in 2021, greenhouse gas emissions increased again by 6%. The time of the pandemic, when the economy slowed down, demonstrated that we can control the emissions. Let's start to act. Climate neutrality, although seemingly a distant goal, is already possible today. With curbing the emissions through reduced application of mineral fertilizers and crop protection products, supporting biodiversity and improving soil health, Europe can make a difference for the environment. How? By switching to a new form of production, regenerative agriculture. Firstly, it helps to improve the soil's structure, its ecosystem, and optimize the nutrient balance. It also contributes to capturing the carbon dioxide from the air to reduce net human emissions. So the regenerative farming is the easiest way to reduce emissions. This is not as complex as it may look like. Many agricultural producers already employ such methods as crop rotation, aftercrop, or mulching the soil with straw. Regenerative farming is not only beneficial for the environment, but can also be a source of additional income. Carbon credits generated from regenerative farming can be sold to companies that want to compensate their carbon footprint. Regenerative farming involves more people than just the farmers. The implementation of these principles requires collaboration throughout the value chain. Join the regenerative farmers now. Find out more at agronomist.pl